Let's say you are working on a project and your boss said that from the given uh, data, let's say this is the data of fitness. So you need to determine whether the person water intake level is good or bad. So how can you decide? So to decide this, you need to use a logical DEX function. Hi, this is Krupali from Know How Academy. So let's start with me. So let me tell you what you are going to learn in this video. In this video, you are going to learn how to use logical DEX function like if and switch in Power BI. So let me tell you how you can do that. So let me explain you first my data set. Uh, so this is the fitness data which i got so what i need to do this is the column which contain the water intake level of that particular person so here this is the user id now i want to determine whether the water intake level of that particular user is good or bad so first of all i need to decide a parameter that how much water one person should drink let's assume that if a person drink water less than 2.2 liter then we can say that their water intake level should be improved or we can say bad otherwise their water intake level is good so how can we do that so to do this in power bi we need to use a if function why if because we want to determine based on some condition what condition that if water intake level or let's say if water intake in liter is greater than 2.3 then it's good otherwise bad so condition if the condition is true we want some result and if the condition is false we want to display some result so for that we will use if dex function so how to use it so to use that if dex function first of all uh, i'm generating one new column which will contain the value for each and every row whether their uh, intake level is good or bad so right click on data click on new column and here in the column i need to write a first column name so let's say water intake or we can say water intake equal to then i need to write if condition so if you write an if condition if dex function not condition generally if is a condition but using a text function we want to write it so here you need to mention the logical test that is your condition and then you need to write what if the condition is true and what if the condition is false sometimes we want to display that if the condition is true then we want to display something if the condition is false we don't want to do anything so that's why in the square bracket it is written optional false part it's optional but true part is compulsory so how to write a logical test for that so you need to write a uh, name of the data set so that is fitness data then you need to write a column name so here water intake liter now uh, we are checking whether it's greater than 2.3 then we want to display good amount of intake so comma and then in double quotation i want to display a message or i want to write something that is good intake okay and if it is less than 2.3 so we want to display bad intake or we can say need to improve need to improve and complete the bracket and hit the comment button so that is correct sign now see here see that person water intake level is 2.5 so user id 1 2 3 and so on so for that you can check it out 2.5 it's a good intake 2.8 it's a good intake and then it's to need to improve so you can write the if dex function like this in power bi now the second dex function is switch first of all you need to understand why there is a need of switch function because see if we want to check the one condition and based on one condition we want to generate output then if is a good dex function but what if i want to check multiple condition and based on multiple condition my output can be different uh, let me give you a scenario if 
person weight is greater than 80 but less than 90 then that much step should be uh, walked by that person if the person weight is uh, less than 70 but greater than 60 then he need to do certain level of activity or let's say 5000 steps should be taken so for that thing you need to write a switch condition so switch is basically used when we want to deal with multiple possibility and for multiple possibility or multiple condition again true and false result will be that okay so we will use that time switch function let's understand a switch dex function with the scenario let's say you have a weight column in power bi of that particular user now what i want to determine whether the person is underweight whether the person is overweight or whether the person is suffer from obesity so how can we decide that so to decide that you know in reality several parameters are needed like height weight and bmi of that person let me explain you with the simple term that we are uh, deciding whether the person is underweight or overweight or obesity based on one column and this is for learning purpose of the switch function so let me write see here uh, i make a two uh, things that weight and interpretation okay so if the weight of the person is greater than 100 then we can say that uh, that person is a highly obesity person high obesity person then this is the second category this is the third category for overweight and obesity and normal weight and underweight so see every time if we write if condition so in if condition we need to write if for this for this bifurcation so basically i need to write uh, five times if condition so in power bi there is one function called switch function so it is a kind of uh, if else ledger so what is the meaning of that if the condition is that some output if that condition is true some output so to do that in power bi there is a function called switch function so let's see how to write a switch function so before we are going ahead in power bi let me explain you the syntax of switch function so first of all you need to write switch function now inside a switch function you need to write some argument so first argument you should write that is a true and empty bracket so what is the meaning of that that i am making the switch functions for defining the condition that what if the condition is true so then you need to write a bracket and then you need to write your condition so let's say uh, weight is greater than 100 then what we want to display we want to display the high obesity okay so we will copy this okay and then we need to write it in double quotation then after a first condition we want to check it again a second condition so let's say write a comma after that and write a second condition let's say like that okay and remember that after a condition and what if it is true then you need to write a comma after that and whatever you want to do uh, let's say for display purpose you need to write it in a double quotation then sing a comma and so on and sometimes what happen sometimes it's happened that you know if this all condition which i mentioned four conditions any of the four condition is not true then what will happen so we need to write one last line that is if that given condition out of certain condition if any one of the condition is not true then what we need to do so we need to display that unknown or not determine determine or we cannot uh, rather than this we will write not cannot say okay cannot say we can also write like that but remember after the condition this is called default part if any of the condition is not true that default part will compulsory execute so how to write it in that so let me go to the power bi and here we have written the uh, if condition uh, so let's write switch condition so right click and click on new column and here what i need to do i need to mention a switch so let me just click here to expand this and here let me write a uh, switch condition demo switch condition demo equal to 
then you need to write switch and remember if you directly hit the enter key then it will execute so for writing in the next line you need to press shift enter key from the keyboard so automatically your cursor will come to the next line okay so then you need to write a switch function now writing the how to write it actually it's a art of understanding the code so if you write it in a one line then it's okay but if you write it like this so it in future it for you uh, it is very easy to understand so you need to write a function switch then okay so see i, I intentionally press enter key and you see that it it's generating an error so i want to keep it in a second line so shift enter okay now inside that i need to write true okay and then uh, write a comma after that now for that i need to write a first condition my first condition is what if the weight is greater than 100 so uh, i need to write first data set name so fitness data and then weight uh, weight and if it is greater than 100 uh, so what i want to do i want to display th the things that high obesity okay pardon me if i made any spelling mistake by her while in shoot during the shoot video shooting okay then we want to mention the second condition now in that second condition you can see that we are making two condition inside that less than or greater than so we are basically writing a range if that person is following that weight, weight range then we can say whether that person is obese high obesity underweight or not so for that i want to write n and is a logical function which will uh, try to determine uh, whether the condition is true or false based on number of condition which is given so let's say if you write two condition inside the end function so if both of the condition are true then and only then your output will be true otherwise any one of the condition is false then it will give false as a output okay so less than 100 but greater than 90 okay so here we can keep it as a greater than or equal to and here in end uh, we can write uh, fitness data fitness data then weight then if it is less than 100 and comma uh, then next thing is if it is greater than 90 so let me write control C control V and it's a greater than 90 okay no need to write like this then after you need to write bracket then again what we want to do we want to display the things that it's a obesity class one so let me copy and paste it okay and write a comma then second condition second is for 90 and 80 so let's say control c control v again i'm writing it inside end and if it should be uh, less than 90 but greater than 80 okay here instead of uh, what if someone age is 90 so it is good thing to write it uh, equal to so then we will write it as a overweight okay and uh, we are writing directly that if the person age is less than uh, 80 and that thing okay so let's say here writing the thing control C. Okay. Now if the person age is less than 80 and greater than or equal to 70, uh, we can say that's a normal weight. Weight. And what if uh, that any of the condition is false? So I want to write, we cannot say, okay? We cannot say. Or you can say not applicable, we can say it like that. Applicable. Or you can display anything, okay? So just hit the enter key. Enter key or just here click on correct sign. So it's done 
so now you can see new column is generated that is not applicable not applicable why because some of the conditions are not match so you can see that uh, the weight of the person is 55 so it's a below 80 so we can say not applicable or instead of that we can also write here uh, the not instead of not applicable we can say it's a underweight weight and then complete executed so here it will display so whatever output you are getting here whether it's a normal overweight underweight so which is based on the condition whatever we mentioned here so i hope you get an idea that how to use switch function thank you for choosing knowhow academy as your source of it knowledge we are always here to help you to navigate to the tech world if you have any question don't hesitate to reach out to us it has been a pleasure to share this information with you stay curious and keep learning